So this freak gonna tell me she know this dude. So you know, I'm like, where'd you meet him from? He busted a friend of my family. You know what I mean? What? So I'm like, I'm like, busted? Nah, we were a cop, Jay. What you think? I think you know the answer to that, clown. Today on Classes of Cinematics, we take a look at It Too Deep from 1999. It's a gripping crime thriller directed by Michael Reimer. The film follows an undercover cop played by Omar Epps as he infiltrates a dangerous drug empire led by the ruthless kingpin known as God, portrayed by LL Cool J. As he delves deeper into the criminal underworld, the lines between his true identity and his undercover persona blur, leading to intense moral dilemmas and heart-pounding suspense. With powerful performances from the main cast, including Nia alone and Stanley Tucci, the film explores themes of loyalty, betrayal, and the high-stakes consequences of living a double life. Hey folks, man, this is Monk, and I did not know Bob was going to wear the same shirt as me today. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being lazy. But welcome to Classic Cinematics, man. This is a show where we talk about the classic films that, that, that we like, and, you know, revisiting them, seeing they have the same impact on us, man. We're older now, you know. Yeah. And um, this is my calls. We got Bobby Blockbuster. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, so today we're going to be looking at a film that's right on the edge of our cutoff. Um, we usually do things from 2000 and after. So this film, In Too Deep, was made in 1999. Let's get into it, man. What's stand out about this film, I mean, man? I'm going I'm to I'm 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 stick right to what you're talking about. I mean, the strong point of this film is the cast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And these characters that are presented in front of us. I mean, for starters, we get this, this dual role in Jeff, a.k.a. Jay Reed. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, and it's cool because at this point, like, you know, Omar Epps, he, he, in, in, in the 90s, he's known for giving solid performances. You know, he's, yeah, juice. he's, he's, he's hard nosed, egotistical, good guy in mm -hmm. a sense that's in bad situations. I mean, we've seen him go against Bishop. Yeah. We've seen him in the program be a rookie that had to earn his spot. We even seen him go against Remy the skinhead yeah, in the higher learning. Learn. I was you about to say, saying? I forgot about that. So, yeah. um, I mean, and he's easy to root for because, you know, most of the time his characters are relatable and the yeah. way he presents them, he mm -hmm. does it in, in a very like natural way. So I, I like, I like that he's the one who takes the lead and he's the one that's playing this undercover cop. Yeah. But the way that, <laughs> the way that he kind of gives us this like, you know, okay, I'm a good guy, but I'm really liking the way this cake is smelling and the way it's tasting too vibe when he's getting on his G shit. I mean, he really <laughs> is like, he's, he, yeah. you know, you, you, you get that sense that he's really like kind of getting lost in the sauce, yeah, he so does. to speak. You know what I mean? He, get, he definitely get lost in it. Um, and But also, I think it's cool that we have that character that has that... Um, Dichotomy, yes. you know, and that's that, that's a testament to the title of the film. You, you, yes. You're you're so far on the cover that you're starting to become what you're supposedly fighting against, man. You know, yes, and, and, and that's cool. And it. too deep, yeah. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> pun intended, baby. But yes, <laughs> did they even say that at any point in the movie? I don't think they specifically say he's in too deep. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, I don't, I don't know. know. It's possible. I, I love when the movie works the title. <laughs> yes, into I do the... too. It's, it's possible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but then, okay, on the opposite side of the spectrum, we get LL in his first bad guy role, and man, is he good in yeah, it. Yeah, he's good. Like, I man. mean, he's so good yeah. in it that it's like it's funny watching him be bad mm -hmm. because he seems to enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, I'm like, damn, like, like, you know, I mean, I know a little bit about his upbringing. Um, I think he had an abusive father, but but he was mostly a good kid. But to see this, it's like, yo, was you out there doing this? Dog, L? Cause, I'm, man, I don't know what he, who he it, tapped into or it what. It was seamless. And I mean, in the way he presents himself, dog, in this film, he's like a shark swimming with minnows. Like he is above <laughs> everybody. But, but he also has this charisma. Because like when he has to do the community stuff, like, like I could see this guy running for city council later. If he yeah. never got locked up, yeah. and he just was like, fuck it, I'm going to be the, I'm going to be a, I'm gonna be selling dope on the side, but yeah. I'll be I'll be the but, mayor. But if he was able to launder <laughs> enough crazy. of his eleven million profitable, you know, Coke empire into you know feasible funds, you know why not? You yeah. know, but um, but the thing yeah. is too, it's like <laughs> like he still has that you know that that LL arrogance. You know what I'm saying? That the we're, charm, we're, too, the, the charm, the, the smile, you know, he's all, yeah. Yeah, he's for the ladies, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like it's, it's crazy to see the flip switch, and he does that several in several scenes in this yes. movie where it's just like, 
he comes at you. He's like, oh, we just want to, like in the beginning when my man is sitting there with his girl and he walks into the room, even though we know that's not a good thing, but but his whole demeanor is not like angry off the top. No. It's just like, hey, what's, you know? He's like, so mild, man. And then, then boom, and he flips and it's just like, yo, this is crazy. And he's also <laughs> extremely polite. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he comes and he's very nice to you. He's like, like he knows he's about to hurt you and violate you in many, many ways. But he'll say please and thank you first. Yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's like, man, that's that's so villainous. I didn't know he had it in him, man. And that's that's <laughs> one of the things that makes me enjoy this movie because because it gets over the top. I don't think this is as serious as a Donnie Brasco. It's a little, it's a little, it's a B movie with a lot of polish, man. And polish yes. coming in, in the, you know, the way it's shot, it looks good. And, and these actors that they got to be in this to elevate this material like like it's crazy because because god is such a presence in the streets and, and the little bit of time we get with him he is he, he is used effectively you yes. get you get the idea of who this guy is man and it's amazing <laughs> and dude i mean this stuff is catchy i mean okay my man his name is god in the streets but mm -hmm. then he uses all these religious references like like he's like yeah come talk to god or yeah. pray, pray to god, pray to god. <laughs> he's put a gun in your face like you better pray to god yeah. and then he'll be like who's god who's god i mean mm -hmm. it's, it, it's like it 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 works because of this character that he built in front of us but then also you know he's got his his angels which is his crew and that's where we get into the more smaller roles and mm -hmm. that's what the the, mm -hmm. the real meat and potatoes of this film is, is I, these... I love i love the crew because like a lot of these scenes could have just been whatever get it done but but it's surrounded by so many good actors and so many yeah. even though we don't get a time, lot of time with some of these characters we they feel fleshed out they feel real like um, yes like my man um Blonde hair guy in his crew. Um, oh, uh, uh, Breezy, well, Breezy T. T. He's got a good presence. He's a good yes. goon in this movie. Yes. Like, like, but, like, and, and, and it's crazy. I love those characters. He's a good wingman in every movie he's in. Mm -hmm. He was, he was also dope and he got game. Mm -hmm. He also, I've seen him in uh, quite a other uh, a few films as well where he's, he's a, he's a solid wingman. But then you also, um, when we talk about these side characters, you look at what we got from Stanley Tucci mm -hmm. as, yeah. as the overbearing sergeant. I mean, he really got into his role too. He's you great, know, man. He's, he's He's great. He, he, I mean, he really tapped into his inner police man. It's always great to see Pam on screen. Doesn't matter what yeah, role she's too. in. Pam, I like always Pam great to see her on screen. She's the first one that kind of calls um, uh, Jay Reed on his shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? She's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come on, who do you think you really are? And then, you know, who was really surprising to me was Mia Long because mm -hmm. you know she really she gave good perspective as to as as being the girlfriend of this undercover cop and what one might go through if you're in that kind of situation you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. where you know the the problems that could come in the household and the stresses from the job and and how do you be supportive to somebody that's kind of living a dual life and they mm -hmm. want to be around you when they're off the clock but when they're on it you're non-existent yeah. she really she delivered that kind of grounds well. them a little bit because um because that, that's an interesting thing man because um he um there's a situation that happens man like like it's, this movie's great man I, I i just love the progression of it man because like you know <laughs> he's going he's trying to get in with this gang and um and they actually accept them at one point and yes. um and they put him you know he's got to they still he still got to work his way up through the ranks so they put him with these guys um you know who are also on the bottom you know put them with these guys and if that works out and those guys are scumbags they they, they come one up but they see him it's like well this the new guy like fuck yeah him. you know what i'm saying because even it, it is it's a testament like that i think that's good writing to have god the way he is because he's 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 a leader but he's also kind of shitty to his people well, and, and that's and that allows for the 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 guys amongst them to be out here freelancing and doing he's, he's keeping stuff. his goons hungry yeah. he's hanging the carrot see what he's doing is he's showing them how to be successful but the only ones that are really eaten are the ones that came from you know his hometown with him and then he's he's like all right well if you guys but, but they're not even really eating yourself. like that like they no they're I not feel, I feel, I feel like it's, he's I, the only one eating. i feel like it's more like um all of this is shitty work yeah but if you're in good with him, you're doing the least of the shitty work, and it's still shitty work. So, 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 and, and like you said, like later on in the movie, uh, Jay Reed points out he 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 doesn't respect them, yeah, and he leaves with fear, 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. Ultimately, it's it's intimidation because if you come to him looking for work, mm -hmm. then he's like, you're already in his pocket and under his thumb. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because now it's like I ain't gonna pay you, but if you stop doing my my biddings, then now you got to worry about me yeah. coming for you. So those scumbags that he put him with, they try to rob him, you know, and kill him, but but it goes wrong. He actually ends up killing them. I mean, it's fully he shot self one in the dick. Yeah, but it's fully Might self. Well be dead. It's fully self defense. But um, you know, and and, and Tucci, um, you know, he's pulls him out he's like yeah. bro this is, this is too much like like especially you know if somebody dies in that in a line of work like this so sends him away and reed is like nah i want to nah, yeah. I'm, I'm close, so close. I'm close. I'm close. <laughs> and that's when we get the lean along and that's when we get the the worst hair ever top 10 top 10 worst hair in ever. the movie ever and like hair transformation i don't know much about <laughs> hair i mean we we both rock no. baldies on this side no. but in three months my man got baby dreads <laughs> <laughs> I thought it took no, a little more time than it that. It does, dude. There's no <laughs> way. There's no way Jay Reed could grow this, man. It's, dude, it's 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 up there with some of Sam Jackson's worst um hair in the movies, yeah, man. man. It's great. I love it, man. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's yes. funny. But then you know, <laughs> it's a I, character after, in itself. After a while, you know, he goes. With, but 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 see see, it's all right. like you know the story goes how it goes, man. He eventually you know goes back into the gang and take helps to take God down. But but. What I'm going to ask you is, what are some like? Give me, give me one of your favorite moments in the film, like, because there's a lot, and that's why I think this thing works when, when other parts of it fail. It has a lot of really memorable scenes, man. You uh, know, I mean, I, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to reach for the low hanging fruit. So, go ahead, get it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, <laughs> we, we do what we want here, Frank. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 right at the beginning, right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not the scene. That's not the most memorable scene. But um, no, we're gonna go through a couple of these because I think that's the only way to talk it's about right this. It's right at the shit. beginning like, when you know when it's showing him um in this duality role. Uh, I think it really works for the story as well. He's going back and forth from being the undercover cop but being in mm -hmm. the right now situation, and he's riding in the in the truck, and they want him to off somebody, <laughs> yeah. and I and he's and he's like, yo, yeah, you know, uh, I'm gonna go and pull up. I want to see the whites in his eyes, and he hangs the gun out, and he's hanging all the way out the truck. I don't mm -hmm. know if there's no cop presence in in Cincinnati or what's going on, but yeah. I mean, there he, wasn't nobody and, on that block, and he unloads, he shoots. <laughs> I mean, you know how like in cartoons when they shoot around the person, and yeah, the, like, the, the, the wall falls out, and the, the, the silhouette is there. That's how he shoots around. On this dude in a speeding truck and then and and then and then after he doesn't hit the guy he runs out <laughs> shoots until the, 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 the guns up he runs back he's like yo give me the wop give me the wop yeah because i mean i get it he, he, he's a cop so he can't really he's kill nobody play role. but it's funny to me that's one of the best scenes because um that's what helps with the supporting characters man because yes. uh Cause uh, Breezy T and uh, Latik played by uh, Weebay. Yeah, uh, he's Weebay now, man. We'll yeah. call him Weebay. Yes, and and they're in the car just critiquing. He's, he's like, he's like, he's like, give me the Uwa. Like, bro, you just emptied a full clip and then hit this guy that was did, running did hit ten once. feet. Yes, next to the car. couldn't hit him once. Couldn't, couldn't hit him anywhere on his whole body. But then my man, my man, like little Breezy T, he's like, he's still trying to vouch for 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 Jay Reed. He's like, yeah, but my man got heart. And Weebay, he shuts that shit down quick. Yeah. He's like, man, I got heart, and he ain't wasting. My bullets. <laughs> he's like, man, he, he's like, give me the Uwa. I was like, for what? He's like, for man, what? you can't you shoot. You can't shoot. Shit. You're whack. <laughs> it, it's one of the greatest scenes, man. My yes. mind is, um, I love when when he meets LL because it's it's so goofy, <laughs> but it's funny. And, and like, and, 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 and um, and uh, Breezy T brings him to the gym where LL's in there, you oh, know, getting yeah. his god punching on his god workout on. Yeah. So then, um, for God to try to test him. This is the weirdest damn gangster test of any yeah, I've seen in any movie. Yeah, but you know about boxing. Maybe I'm not a boxer. Dude. Maybe I just know how to sell drugs and real shoot. Good. Yeah, you don't and need shoot. to know how to box to shoot a gun, but he can't shoot a gun either. No. Obviously, <laughs> it cracks me up because all they needed to do was spend 20 minutes to figure out a, a, a more believable sequence. But he gets in the ring with the pass on. Jay Reed is like this the whole with time, the gloves. and LL is just like he's not even moving. He's just you know yes. I've seen people do pad work in there, yeah. you know, and then he, he's just like. Like this the whole time and he's yeah. spinning in a circle yep. and every now and then he, he, he throws, goes he throws one to make uh, <laughs> LL don't even really attempt duck. to duck he he's really throwing duck. it over LL's head oh, it's, it's hilarious <laughs> and then he's like it's like, like he's good at it I'm like man this is hilarious yo. It, it, it's, but, but then <laughs> it, it works man it's, it's like these moments like like I think part of my entertainment of this film is like I think they're doing their best and, and I think it's, it's a solid story the narrative and the, the idea of it it's nothing really new to the table 
But what elevates it is those moments where where it's unintentionally funny, man. <laughs> like, yes. and, and it cracks me up, and I love it. I love this episode is brought to you by Classics of Cinematics Merchandise. Now, it's well known. I love to crack open a big green can of alcohol-infused awesome. The only thing that makes this beverage taste better is when I drink it out of this Classics of Cinematics mug. Damn, that's tasty. <sighs> Don't be afraid to be cool. Get yours today by clicking the link below. And I mean, we still get these these tense moments. Like, like for instance, you know, going into to the end where, you know, he, for all intents and purposes, uh, brings God down. It's kind of like, it kind of hits hits the heart a little. Like, LL, we, we, we finally see an ounce of emotion through this whole <laughs> hour and 37 minutes. Yeah. We see this dude do some of the most grimy shit to people. And then at the end, when they're, they're locking him up, he's like, you a cop, Jay Reed? You ain't no cop. Yeah, you a cop. I love that. You ain't no, you cop. Ain't no cop, Jay Reed. You ain't no cop. Yo, you I, sell out, man. I say that randomly all the time to this day. When you ain't yeah, no cop. Yeah. But, but so another uh, moment that, that 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 I love, man, is um um when um uh, when he comes back, like he he's, he done came back at this time, and then um. And he gets robbed again. Um, he's in the yeah. club hanging out with a Jermaine, Jermaine Dupree. Dupree. <laughs> so, with the bottle. I, I forgot to mention him in the cast. Jermaine <laughs> Dupree. And, and it's so funny to me. He's like, what's up, Jay? You know, hey, man, I got the blunt, man. Let's go outside and smoke. I got and some then, golds in my, inside my jacket pocket. Yeah, check them you know, out. Check out these chains. You know, check out these chains and I'll show you my gold. And, yo, and, and Jay, he fucking hitting the blunt. And then my man hit this motherfucker in the head with the biggest champagne bottle I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> it is so funny. But, but, but. Um, Hill um, and uh, they they see what's going down and at this point, man. That, that's that's where I think this 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 story elevated because of the, the complexity of it. It's, it's, yes. it's not it's not new ground, but but there are things that are happening, like the fact that God is is treating his people so bad. But then at this point, Jay Reed is kind of he, he's not only infiltrated the gang, but he's starting to infiltrate God's top guys. Yes. He's like, and they're rocking with yeah, him because 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 he's being fair. He's spreading yes. the love. He's, he's spread spreading the prophets out. Yes. And, and and like I, I love that man it's well, to the point where, where they start looking out for him now, and they actually see that they they, they realize that he went outside with a uh, Jermaine Dupree's uh, Melvin. Yeah, like, y'all there with Melvin. Yeah, they're like, they're 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 Melvin. Running. Yo, it's it's funny. And the man. red blazer. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know another thing. I mean. You know, anyone who's seen this movie, they all know. Everyone knows about the pool table scene. Dude, that's the that's, that's the, <laughs> okay. Yo, that's that's yo, the low hanging fruit. Yo. You talk about this movie, everyone knows about the pool table scene. <laughs> it's messed up on many levels. You know what? I think also I'm gonna set up a little bit because this is crazy. This doesn't even have nothing to do with none of the dope or nothing. No, he's mad at this guy because he thinks this guy. Was he took was, a was talking shot to his, at his wife? Talking to his uh, wasn't was it his wife or the baby yeah, his mama? Wife. His, yeah, wife. his wife, his wife, who yeah. is also the baby mama. Yeah, yeah, took, yeah. took a shot at her. He was like, he was like, you will step to my wife. He was like, <laughs> man, I just told her she was beautiful. Yeah, I was drunk. It, it wasn't even like it wasn't like, even like he didn't a, do. He just complimented her. He, maybe she had a nice outfit on that yeah, day. And, like, oh, and, I mean, and, and maybe like, he was just like <laughs> drunk. He was like, oh, you look beautiful. I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? That that does not. So does that, not, not, not make it okay to strip this man down and buck him, naked, lay it out like a, a Thanksgiving turkey on a pool table, tied up. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you should be rocking like this. Yo, 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 that's the funny because because he's trying to explain himself. He's like, man, yo, God is like talking. <laughs> It's funny his name is God. That cracks yes. me up already. Yes. Yes. But then he's just sitting there and he's like, what is up? You gotta be LL. So he said, he's like, yo, God, it ain't, we ain't gotta rock like this. Rock like, what? <laughs> <laughs> not only that, as, as he's saying that, he's waxing him on the back with a pool, pool stick. Yes. And then continue, uh. then proceeds to violate him with, yes, the, pool with stick. the pool stick. And then, like, dude, this, this is the crazy part of me. I didn't know LL had him in it. Had it, had it in him, and then this the craziness of God. Is he? The, the, <laughs> the crazy think, of God. think about it. Yeah, think, think, about it. Oh. think about it. It's like what the fuck. And then look, I had to bring this up too. So in 2018, okay, um, Omar Epps was on the Breakfast Club, and he said that the pool stick scene wasn't even written into the script. That was impossible. L, L brought it up. He was like, I want to show how bad God really is. <laughs> Yo, thanks, LL. Cause that that makes this <laughs> rock movie, like dude. what? Once, and also, <laughs> it's a pivotal point in the scene because Jay Reed is not only he's like, man, this guy's really messed up. Well, and also <laughs> because Jay Reed got brought in there because the the young lady that was messing with Wee Bay mm -hmm. after Jermaine Dupri tried to jack him at the club was like, yo, 
that dude's an undercover. Yeah, because that dude, yeah, yeah. Uh, he he uh, got my my yeah. family arrested. So, so it's also a moment where God is is because so, God isn't convinced that that, that Jerry no, isn't a cop. But Jerry but it's also, think he going to the basement, so he gets whacked. But yeah, but it's also a, one of the things where they do the flex and show you well, this could be you. This, if if you I'll do this you. to my best yeah. friend, what do you think I'll do to you? Mm-hmm. And then it's messed up because you know movies with <laughs> foreshadowing. Okay, because yet again the conversation that's had at the very beginning by the guy who ends up on the pool table he was like yeah god it's kind of funny how he is man he's he's the kind of person that'll he'll strip you naked and take your dignity from you <laughs> just just to let you know what kind of savage he is it's yeah. like well shit so you already knew man if well, any if, if that's the been, case like and, and he snaps over peanuts then you stay far away from his wife and was, everybody i think it was just innocuous and, but then, then how are you going to stay afar you in the circle yeah, I know he's the damn baby's godfather. I'm probably like, eating dinner with them on Sunday nights, like mm, something like I'm like. It's, 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 like I what? think God was tripping there, bro. Oh yeah, tripping. he was tripping. Was tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I concur, man. He was tripping. We are definitely on the same and page. Then, and then, and that then, is not right. So then, <laughs> then the, the other moment too that gets me is when um. Um, Angela Ellis's character, because basically she comes a guy oh, God. at the um oh, God. at the uh, block yeah. party. She's like, I need some help, and he's like, Oh, that's no problem, man. You know, I'm gonna yeah. send some guys over. You know, they are gonna move some work. Basically, we're gonna sell so out to your apartment, set up shop, and we're, gonna, and we're gonna pay your rent. And, and at that point, she said she was clean too. She yeah, was looking, you know, looking mm-hmm. clean, feeling good, and everything. Not so, on. So the why dope. you gonna send a dope? Like, like you ain't got no other jobs you can do, God. Yeah, why? Like, yeah, <laughs> why? Why are you gonna have her right, right in the thick yeah. of it if she's trying to? If she's a recovering. So addict, apparently, I guess asshole. it goes bad, and her and her boyfriend decide to steal this package, and that's a crazy scene too, man. This is the brutality <laughs> of the God, but but these moments are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he catches, he sees him. He's driving, yes, he's he driving does. around with Jay Reed. He's got his baby in the baby seat. Yes, and he pulls a car over, drags them, beats the shit out of both of them. I mean, he's slamming the dude's yeah. arm in the car. <laughs> wham, wham! The baby seeing all this Yo, shit. Wham, baby wham, wham, there, like. wham! And then I mean, and then he gets her down, beats the brakes off her, bleeding in the face, yeah. and then like making her, you know, insinuating the, with the gun. Yeah. You know, it's like use your imagination. Gun in your mouth, movie. like yeah, like, gun like, in your mouth. And, 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 love it, love it. <laughs> it's like, are you crazy? What is wrong with you? But then the trippiest Yo, part about it all, right? It's crazy. He gets back into the car. The baby is crying. All Ooh. this happens in front of the in front of the baby. The baby's crying. He looks at Jay Reed. He's like, I think he messed up his diaper. What? No, he just seen you what? acting wild. What? He just seen all this violence. You just, you just slammed somebody even if the head baby in did, the car. Even if the baby didn't know what was happening, you no. were acting like a maniac. Yes. Shock trauma. <laughs> there was bodies all, people getting beat up. Yes. Like, <laughs> what is wrong but with see, you? I love his character because, like I said, it's that switch flipping. It's that psychotic nature. Like, like he yes. just... He don't think about what he's doing out there. <coughs> no. Other than the fact that this is just business. And then I go back to doing whatever. And you know, the one the one thing that that that, that like bringing this all full circle, the one thing about this this story that as far fetched as it is, okay, it says at the beginning it's based on it's inspired by a true story. So I I mean it's loosely based on some yeah, undercover that's, that's, stuff. That's I mean, easy it, to, it, it's yeah. it, that's that yeah, don't like mean shit these days. I don't exactly. mean that don't mean what I mean, it used to be. Like, 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 like you nowadays said, you see inspired by true story. Yeah. And I mean, that could be it could be five different games. Of yeah, yeah, I mean, and this one, it, it, like you said, it's in the likeness of Donnie Brasco, minus a lot of the seriousness. Mm-hmm. But one thing that I do like about it, even though at times it's extremely over exaggerated, it does give you what it, it it's like to be engulfed in the drug game. Yeah. Be you, whether you're a dealer, a customer, or an innocent bystander, how it will affect your everyday yeah. way of life. And, and that's you know the thing because God, he, like, I like him because for movie reasons. It's, it's entertaining to watch, but but he's he's really shitty. Like like it's yeah. not it's not like he's just selling drugs and making money. You see the impact he has on the community and on people's lives and, and just how messed up he is just by being there. He has yeah. to go down, bro. Yeah, like, and, I don't feel I don't feel no sympathy on his side at all. No, you know what I'm saying? And not for nothing. Like you can throw a Thanksgiving bash once a year, and that's your one good deed yeah, of the year. The amount of messed yeah, up shit thing, you man. do. We can't, we, we can't excuse people. The other 364 they, yeah, days of the year. Because they hand out turkeys two times yeah. a year. Turkeys and ham. Nah, uh, bro. I'm, that ain't erasing I'm the body. I'm feed you coke for 364 and then feed you <laughs> yeah. on, on one day. Come on, yeah, man. What? Man. what? Yeah. But then, you know, and then that's the other thing, too. All this craziness. Normally, when we get movies of this nature... They take place in one of three areas, dog. New mm-hmm. York, 
L.A. <laughs> or Miami. Mm-hmm. This one really went against the grain because it happens in Midwest. Cincinnati. Yeah, Midwest. Cincinnati. Yo, that's one of my favorite lines from God, though. When, when J. Reed rolls up, he said, where you from, man? He said, I'm from, from Akron, man. So I didn't know they was getting money in Akron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is before, uh, this. hold up. When the, this is about the time, yeah, this is before LeBron got in the league. Yes. So, so, but nobody really yes. get no money in Akron. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it was. I'm it, it, it was, but it, it, it definitely it probably so a gangster it element. It wasn't um, really on the map, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. As far as like on the big screen. Yeah, the so first I, time I heard well, the camera, I used to, I used to get in yeah, Ohio. Get in Ohio. <laughs> or you know, you think of Bone Thugs, they're from Cleveland. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Ohio, but I mean, mm-hmm. that's not the natty. Mm-hmm. So you know, um, I thought that that was really cool to give us this yeah. story from Cincinnati, but then to. To, to the way that they just, I mean, made this look so <laughs> grimy. It and is. This is a great to it, man. It has a, some bite, man. The, and well, the, the set pieces, too. I mean, it's always raining. Yeah, here it or it's, it's like the sun don't shine nah, like it's, it's not it, a, there's not it, a sunny day in and, this whole and it movie. just like elevates except maybe when he goes to the farm to when the, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but then i mean but then that's where he's safe he's not in the natty no and more then on he's the boat, somewhere else yeah when he's on the boat uh yeah. talking to the police guy well that's because he's with his sunshine everything's <laughs> all good you know but yeah no other than that i mean it really it really emphasizes My thing is, what's what, going what on. happened to his wolf puppy yeah. What the fuck? He just rented that for the day? Yeah, exactly. Or now, you know what? That was the worm on the hook. He used that to get me along in. He was like, ah, bait and switch. Bait and switch. Yeah, because you know? he needed something to offset that fucking hair. <laughs> 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 he needed something, bro. It's like if I can pat his puppy, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna save us up with your wig. <laughs> you been over a couple three months and you couldn't find a barber shop, bro. Oh shit. Oh shit. But you know, you know, another another thing <laughs> another thing Yo. I really like about this too. This has a solid soundtrack. We start off yeah, that, with the man, mob. We start is... off with the mob quiet storm, which talking about how it's always raining in this movie, Quiet Storm, what better song to play? And then you also get Hell on Earth. I mean, you get you get some 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 notable uh, some notable artists on here. We got a track from Nas and Nature. You get Red Man and Meth. You even get um, Jill Scott. I, I want to say uh, who else was on there? Where is my? There's a lot of people. Um, Ali Vegas. Um, Ali Vegas. Nature. I want to say um, um, was it uh, is Anthony think, Hamilton think, might be on there? Yeah. Uh, oh no no it's uh, not Anthony Hamilton. Dave Hollister. Mm-hmm. Uh, you even get Trick Daddy. Yeah. There's some choice, man. There's Who else? Choice. There was that that one. You must no. be tired of me, man. Yeah. Oh, uh, yo, that. Well, that's R. Kelly. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, that's okay, R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. he he's not on the, the actual yeah. track list. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I think he got I think he got he got the axe. You know what I'm saying? Because of his extracurriculars. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, man, I mean, this is this is one of those ones. This was still at a time where, you know, people would buy a soundtrack if it had some it's bangers on it. They got and some is, joints on it. Cause like yeah. you said, you know, starting with the Quiet Storm. And I like how the, the music fits, man. Sometimes they just throw songs in. It don't really like like that Nas and Nature joint plays through several moments and it yes, fits it every time fits. when that beat yes. drops. It just yes. like damn yes like, it's, and, 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 like and then said, the song is is called In Too Deep like yeah. that, and that joint man that yeah. joint goes oh, yes man. it does and like I say I and mean, Nas is in this he has Nas a quick cameo, a cameo. <laughs> and I mean you can't go wrong with the mob you know what I'm saying because I mean that's 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 grimy rap to the to the fullest yeah. and it, it it fits the tone of the film so mm-hmm. you know I mean but outside of that I mean. You know, was there anything else that stands out to you? I'm good, dog. That, that's it. Like, it's, it's, it's a good movie. Uh, it's a good genre flick, I think. It's solid. It's, it's not the best, but it's still, like, upper middle of the pack, you know, for, for these kind of films, man. And, and it's, it's not terrible, man. You can watch this and enjoy the time spent with it. And you're going to laugh at it because if you're darkly yes. humorous like me, there's some funny dialogue moments I really love. Shaheem's and um and LL's dynamic and even yeah. I gotta give props to Shaheem because he had he a gets, meaty role in this. But he gets bitched out a couple times and I'm like, I feel like someone else probably wouldn't want to agree to them scenes. Like like yeah. like like when when when, when Shaheem comes up, so like, man, we out of turkeys, man. Yeah, he or, or, or he's like he's like everybody want a turkey, man. 
He was like, he's like, man, I don't care if a, a mom, auntie, uncle, a dog want a yeah. turkey. Everybody get a turkey. Everybody can eat with God. Anybody want to eat with God? Man, he <laughs> mushes them away. Man, he mushes them yeah. like it is so great. I love Shaheem's character in this. Yeah, man. he's great as hell, man. Yeah. He's good. He's I'm, all. He was also kind of good in the original Gangster, man. Yes, he was Low until key. he got shot. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you 100. Um, I feel like this film it doesn't mm-hmm. get the the credit that it deserves. Um, it it, it gets a low budget, 39 percent score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's I, I feel that's unjustified, but there is a reason why. Then on the opposite that's the side, side yeah. that's on the opposite side, it, it has a strong seventy five percent from the mm-hmm. audience score. So I mean, I, it, it's, I think it's more more appealing, more entertaining to to us, you know, normal folks, not those of us that you know are, yeah, are in. Yeah, you, you know, had to the, stick up the, your ass, and you had to get yeah. an art degree to to review films, yeah, to review and films and shit. And then, yeah, yeah, and then there's a, you're, 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 everything has to <laughs> to fall into this certain bracket to 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 be a good film. Then you know, this might not be for you, but mm-hmm. um, like for me. You know, I love the duality of it because, I mean, there are times when you watch it and it, and it feels like, oh, man, this is all the way police drama. There are other times where it feels like it's a crime thriller. Mm-hmm. So or it's just a, 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 goofy a, stuff, good, a good mesh of like, both. And then, yes. Yeah. And then it's it, it's so over the top. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes it all work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like and I mean, I, I feel like, you know, the rewatchability is there. This thing, I watch this thing at least once a year. Yeah, like, I put it on in the background and be and, to be cracking up. Yeah. And, I mean, and not for nothing, by today's standards, it still holds up. You know, I mean, this is on the on the, the this, newer side like, like of what I, we reviewed. I was trying to think, like, maybe, all right, so we cut off at 2000. 2000. This might have been the last hood gangster thing that, that was halfway decent. Like, like yeah. uh, up to that point, dude. I, like, I that actually, at, that got a mainstream I, run. I got to look at what came out in 2000, yeah. but, but uh, it's not much after this, man. No. And they don't really make a lot of... Films like this, no. they try, but they're like to be quality or or, or, or straight to Amazon Prime Netflix video kind or, of stuff. Yeah, you know, but now this was probably one of the last yeah. ones that we saw on the big screen that mm-hmm. actually, you know, they they put some money behind it to promote it and everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, man. I mean, well deserved. Like I said, I mean, you you yeah, you had to fork out some bread to get this cast. I mean, they they didn't they didn't shortchange when it comes to you know who mm-hmm. we see on on screen. Yeah, and like I said, man, like to have those iconic moments that still hold together in the in the culture and yes. in, in the you know what i'm saying like like him playing god like that's an iconic like bad guy role man people know that to this day yes. the quote lines from this movie you ain't a cop j reed that yeah. comes up every, every now and then man we know who j reed is man like like exactly yeah dude yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah man like it's yeah dude, this, this movie this movie is definitely a classic man i definitely yeah. can recommend it you know, if you haven't seen it, and if you want to see it again, watch it, bro. Like, yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll hit you, man. It's just, just have fun with it, man. And it plays fast. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're a little over a buck 30 with this. I mm-hmm. mean, it plays fast. It watch it's, it's fast watchability, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, definitely, man. But, all right, folks, man, I think we can wrap this one up, man. This has been another episode of Classes of Cinematics, man. Make sure you uh, buy some merch, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button, like, turn on notifications. Tell your friends about us, man. We try to do something out here, man. Try to get out these streets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but this is Monk. You catch me at Monkey Blood on Twitter, Instagram. Follow us at Classes of Cinematics on Instagram and at um, FTC Net for the greater uh, From the Canopy Network on Instagram and at From Canopy on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. And this is Bobby Blockbuster. You can catch me on the next show. All right, so peace.